What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I got another jailbreak update video for you guys. So if you guys watched my other video a week or two ago, I made this video about Linus, who's a known jailbreak developer in the community. He uploaded this video showcasing an untethered jailbreak on iOS 14.5.1 on his iPhone 12 Pro Max. So if you don't know what Untether is, basically nowadays on jailbreak, they're all semi-tethered. So every single time our battery dies or we turn off our device, we have to rerun the jailbreak using an application or a computer such as CheckRain or Uncover or whatever other jailbreaks there are out there currently. So they're all semi-tethered, but with an untethered jailbreak is you guys can see in this video, he does showcase him booting up his device and still being in the jailbreak state. So for example, you guys obviously know Uncover. Sometimes you run the jailbreak, it turns off your device and then you have to open up the application again and jailbreak it. With this untethered jailbreak, you never have to do that ever again. And the only way to remove your jailbreak and not be in the jailbroken state is if you guys um, restore your device. So we got some more news. This is amazing news for anyone who's been waiting for our untethered jailbreak. It's been years since we've had one right here. And basically he is releasing an open source for this jailbreak on October 21st. So it's September 23rd now. So in about a month right now, this is going to be an open source. So anyone um, can work on this and potentially create a jailbreak with this right here. So um, we may have a jailbreak sometime next month. Obviously, once it is open source, it is released to the public. Um, it may take a couple of days or a couple of weeks for a jailbreak, but we are very close for a jailbreak for iOS 14.5.1 and below. So unfortunately, if you're on iOS 14.6 or 14.7 right now, you guys will not be able to uh, use this until the jailbreak. It's only for 14. 0.5.1 as you guys can see right here and below so if you're on 14.4 you're still good to go 14.3 just as long as you're below this firmware right here and unfortunately there is no way to downgrade from like 14.6 or 14.7 to 14.5.1 unless you have your blob saved but uh, other than that you guys are out of luck and you'll have to wait for a new jailbreak which most likely will be iOS 15, which will be, I don't know how long that will be, probably a couple of months or so sometime next year. But we'll have to wait and see because jailbreaking is getting very hard every single year for developers. So there you guys have it. Hope you did enjoy this video. I am actually getting the iPhone 13 Pro tomorrow. So I'm going to have a quick unboxing video and a ton of videos on that. So make sure you guys drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.